Welcome to Soundwave. I'm your host, Jason Smith. Coming up on today's show, the Alejandra O'Leary Rock and Roll Band takes the stage at the Michigan Theater, and we feature a new segment titled Art Beat with Jackson-based artist Joshua Croy. But first, let's get loud with the Alejandra O'Leary Rock and Roll Band. Currently residing in Ann Arbor, Michigan, Alejandra O'Leary was raised on the timeless melodies of the Beatles and Rolling Stones, while also taking influences from modern sounds like Liz Fair and The Strokes. Usually what we do is I will write like some chords and some words, we'll work through it and come up with whatever the song needs to be even better than it was, which was of course great. I love your tone. Oh yeah, I love your tone. With two albums available, as well as a Kickstarter-funded GBS Detroit Live project and a new full-length album in the works, Alejandro O'Leary's recorded efforts and live performances have been getting high praise from near and far. Whether on a large stage with a full band or performing a stripped-down acoustic set, Alejandra's catchy pop sensibilities will have you hooked in no time. She takes the stage at the Michigan Theater in Jackson today on Soundwave. This song is from our new record, Broken Mirror Baby. The song is called, When Will They Learn? Oh, yeah. 
and learn. Stay tuned for the debut of our new segment, Art Beat, with Joshua Croy, up next on Soundwave. If you're an artist or a musician who would like to be featured on Soundwave, we'd love to hear from you. Contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv. Lockmore Entertainment, providing high-quality live musical entertainment for all venues, public or private, near and far. Visit us on the web at lockmoreentertainment.com. The following events take place Sunday between 7 and 8 a.m. Some people would do anything for a great cup of coffee. Exercise your mind at JCC. Fall semester starts August 27th. Visit the website at jccmi.edu or stop by any of our JCC locations. Jackson Community College, where you want to be. Friday, August 31st, 7 p.m., Whittington Stadium, the Jackson High Vikings take out the Lumen Christie Titans in the Promise Bowl. Presented by Elro Steel, these two teams last faced off in 2005, and now they renew the rivalry with the must-see game of the year. Pre-sale tickets on sale in mid-August and are $5. The Promise Bowl is a great venue to showcase your business in front of thousands of fans and show your community support. For more information on the Promise Bowl and the Jackson Promise Zone, call 841-2148 or visit jps12.org. Don't miss out on the Summer Kids Series at the Michigan Theater all summer long. Go to michigantheater.org or call 783-0811 for more information. Welcome back. Each week, Soundwave will feature a profile on a local artist in a segment called Art Beat. This week, we feature Jackson artist, Joshua Croy. You know, growing up as an artist, uh, or as an artist, yeah, that's amazing to say, but uh, growing up as an artist, uh, my family, my friends, They've all certainly told me that I can't, I can't neglect it, I can't let it go. I can't, I've got to do something with it. So I, uh, I had no intention of going much further, but uh, what I ended up doing was when I came to the Red Cross event, I saw what an audience that Jackson's starting to build. And uh, when I was invited to be at the show, it was uh, game on, so to speak, so. What I like to do is I like to express myself uh, through things that um, through things that inspired me or affected my life, uh, things that really represent who I am inside, and things that inspired me through that. And uh, you know, eventually, I hope to do something down the road and do a piece that you know will affect the world positively. You know, make the make the world a better place to to live. And, and a lot of art has actually done that, I think. So uh, whether it be music, whether it be uh, writing, whether it be a uh, canvas, it's, it's all art and dance, things like that. So it's all there. A lot of my schooling was just done in high school. I went through high school and I got lucky enough to go out to the Jackson Area Career Center. Jackson Area Career Center was a fantastic place. That's where I learned about airbrush. That's where I learned about a lot of these things a lot of different techniques and I thought I was really good until I got out there and saw some of the other artists that that really uh, that really deserve recognition also that are from this area and you know I'm not trying to plug anything here but the Arc 634 is really making a, a great strides to share Jackson's local talent with them. I think the piece that I'm most proud of is the martini glass which I don't have here. 
uh, martini glass is an airbrush piece and uh, I get a lot of compliments that say uh, they thought that it was a photograph and I, as, far as, uh, as far as what I'm trying to achieve, that's the greatest uh, compliment I can, I can get. So uh, my second favorite is probably Kurt Cobain behind me and um, I really like the way that the 3D effect, his fingers seem to be coming out of the frame and everything. Uh, and of course, the, of course, the picture of Heath Ledger is not bad. I'm happy with that too. So I'm happy with all of them. They're all kind of like my, my children or something, you know. And uh, I'm trying to uh, take and uh, get prints done. And you know, if people are interested in buying a print, that's what I'm trying to do right now at this point. So. As far as artists go, uh, in high school I really changed from comic books to uh, people like Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell is fantastic. He's, his realism, his, and I try to capture realism as best I can, photorealism. Uh, a lot of his work I learned was pictures, photographs that he took of, of different scenarios and he manipulated them into his paintings. So. Um, that's where that came from. Another artist that I really greatly admire is Hunter S. Thompson. A lot of his, uh, a lot of his work, and Ralph Steadman, who drew a lot of the uh, pictures for his his writing, was very important to me and uh, very inspirational. So those are a couple of them. Yeah. I love, uh, I love creating, I love sharing, whether it be my own creation or uh, recreation of someone else's photograph or uh, a manipulation of several photographs. I do that too. I, it's just, it's really fun. It's really fun. And uh, it's kind of like a magic trick being an artist. It's kind of like magic trick, really, because people will come up to you and say, uh, you did that with your hands, and uh, yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the piece of paper to prove it. So that's really you know exciting. So. Up next, more from Alejandro Leary Rock and Roll Band. Don't go away. If you're an artist or a musician who would like to be featured on Soundwave, we'd love to hear from you. Contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv. At Western Schools, we encourage our students to dream and prepare them to succeed as global citizens. Students will receive a world-class education in both the academics and the arts. Western Schools' music program is second to none, including several bands, choirs, and a theater program. Our technology curriculum prepares our students to excel in this changing world, and our competitive athletic programs brings our community together. Over the decades, Western Schools has earned its reputation as the public school with a private school atmosphere. Western Schools, a tradition of excellence. Arbor Manor Care Center uses Tri-County because they're local here in Jackson and they've got outstanding service and their people are easy to work with. They service our uh, water softener and that's pretty large in our facility here and anytime that that breaks down or we have any calls they usually have a tech without, out within an hour or usually that day. Just really appreciate the service and the way they take care of us here at Arbor Manor. Kibbe Cobb Liquor and Deli has it all. We feature the area's largest selection of microbrews and wine from all over the state and worldwide. We have everything you need to stock your bar or party all at the lowest prices. Our deli has the area's only New York style bagel in several flavors baked fresh daily. Delicious sandwiches made fresh and piled high. Kibbe Cobb Liquor and Deli, huge selection of beers, wine and liquor, fantastic and fresh deli. Open seven days, Kibbe and Cobb Roads in Jackson.
Welcome back. We head back to the Michigan Theater for another song from the Alejandro O'Leary Rock and Roll Band. Alejandro O'Leary and Jamie Church join us from the Alejandro O'Leary Rock and Roll Band. Um, Alejandro, tell us about your journey. You started in Maine, if I remember correctly, and you've been pretty much all over the Western Hemisphere. That's true, yes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Portland, Maine, uh, born and raised there, 18 years of my life. Uh, I moved to Chile when I was in high school, actually, for my final year of high school, and then I moved to New York, and I was there for five years, and I've been in Michigan for the past three years, and Michigan is my favorite place of all the places. Additionally, getting into some of your musical influences, you've, it's no secret that you're a fan of the Beatles. Oh, just a little bit. <laughs> Jamie which, and which, I... Uh, which Beatle are Beatles. you? I'm Paul. Oh, okay. See, I started as John in college, and now I've sort of transitioned to Paul myself, too. But I've gotten more John as I've gotten as I've matured. <laughs> it does kind of go back and forth. It does, right? a little yes. bit. Um, what are some of your other musical influences? Elvis Costello, big influence. Um, Liz Fair, Ron Sexsmith. All those songwritery people who also like to rock. Your debut album, Nothing Out Loud, had a lot of critical international acclaim. Um, when you started out with um, your second album, Broken Mirror Baby, what did you hope to accomplish with that? Oh, well, I was trying to take it in a more... Um, the first album is very singer songwritery, you know, because it was just me on my own. Um, the second album, I just really wanted to take it to like a more rock and roll kind of place with synthesizers and lots of um, <laughs> lots of loud guitars and lots of loud drums and and I think that that achieving that sound really uh, is what when I came to Michigan I wanted to keep that going I really wanted to play with like a really rocking band like these guys are but now I think it's even moved beyond that into something else so the new cool. record is going to be totally different too it's going to be a rock and roll record but it's, it's right. going to be a little bit different I love I love working with these guys because they have, they're great musicians and they know exactly, like, you're really good at diagnosing exactly what a song needs to just oh, give you. it that extra, <laughs> like, that extra kick. It's so, cool to be in that position, yeah. like, actually, in my past bands, I've been in other positions and it's cool to be in a place where a big chunk of good stuff comes in and we just kind of have to play with it and make it sound good. Pretending you're from the Northeast Did somebody lead you on? Well, I've been living up here since I was 14 Let me tell you, man, you're doing it wrong Great. 
Boys and people with attitude Why do you only talk to me on underground trains? I know it's romantic After the break, we've got one more from Alejandra O'Leary. Stay tuned. If you're an artist or a musician who would like to be featured on Soundwave, we'd love to hear from you. Contact us at viewermail at jtv.tv. In the slot, motion man is fetters. Iserman looking left, throwing left, caught by Grantham. Not gonna Grantham make it. is not going to get not in. Gonna it. The ball game is over. Grantham did not get in. Lumen Christie will move on to round three. Wow. They have defeated the Dundee Vikings in a single overtime. The excitement returns this fall on JTV. Jackson Area Catholic Schools have a unique religious and educational atmosphere where parents and teachers work together and children learn through example. Catholic spiritual development and Christian beliefs are integrated into the student's entire day. The strong core curriculum is supported by a variety of enrichment classes and programs. The Jackson Area Catholic Schools experience ensures strong academic expectations and the development of the whole child for the best education for your children. Contact the Jackson Area Catholic Schools today. Welcome back. We head back to the Michigan Theater one final time for another song from the Alejandro O'Leary Rock and Roll Band. This is a rock and roll tune. This is the title track from our last record. It's called Broken Mirror Baby.
my faith You did and you did You did and you did it again I know you didn't mean to And how you made me cry You did and you did and you did and you did it again Oh, well I know you didn't mean to like a broken mirror, baby Everything you do is bad news A broken mirror, baby Everything you do is bad news That's a wrap for us on Soundwave. My thanks to the Alejandro O'Leary Rock and Roll Band, Joshua Croy, the Michigan Theater, Art 634, and Cuppa. Don't forget to like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash JTV Soundwave. We'll see you next time. One take. Broken Mirror Baby. For web exclusives and more, check out youtube.com slash JTV Soundwave today.